video, I'm going to show you how to stop 2x2 two two spread in Madden 22. 2x2 two two spread, I think, is one of the more basic offenses, at least in my opinion, uh, just in terms of the way the defense is going to play that. But we're going to teach you a little bit about palms against this formation. I think the palms gives you a really uh, advantageous way to play spread in terms of how we're going to be able to defend post, but how we're also going to be able to defend underneath breaking patterns and really kind of build a coverage that is very adaptable to pretty much anything that spread offense is going to want to do. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video in particular, we're just going to be talking about two by two spread, how you can run palms against it and have a significant amount of success with really just a couple of adjustments uh, that's going to make this coverage really work, I think, a lot better. Uh, now, we're just going to pick any play out of this formation. It really doesn't matter to me. And we're going to talk about some of the routes. So what kind of routes are you going to get in spread two by two? My base setup for this, I like to pinch my defense. And then I like to shift my backers to the right, uh, especially against spread, because it's going to allow me to just shoot the gap. I could just stand right here and just shoot the gap just fine. Um, now, uh, real quick, I just want to give you a brief overview of this. We have a very in-depth version of this defense in our uh, Patreon. So if you want to learn more about this, uh, just check out the link in the description and go grab that Patreon. But basically what we're going to get in Palms is, um, remember, I've always said, if you, I've said, and, I, and this is just repeating what I've heard, but um, if you could count to three, you could play match defense, right? So basically, uh, uh, Palms is a split field coverage. We're splitting the field in half, if you will. Uh, my middle linebacker is basically that divider. So essentially, he is, uh, he is going to split uh, this field in half. And what we have is we have three receivers to the right side, and we have two receivers to the left. We actually, our running back is technically our third receiver. If we flexed him into the slot, then we would have a, a kind of a traditional five wide, three receiver to that sideline. Now, really, really important. When we say the three rec hook defender, that is the three receiver hook defender. I would argue it's one of the more important uh, pieces of this puzzle, understanding what that responsibility is. The three rec hook defender's primary job is to match, carry, and deliver shallow crosses and to wall off the number three receiver. In this example, the number three receiver would be the running back, 27. So he's a little bit more concerned with shallow crossers than he probably really is the running back. Again, depending on what the route the running back runs. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say, for example, that I run four vertical routes and I run that running back on a vertical. What you're going to see here is this three rec defender should match up to the running back and carry him to the quarter flat. And then as you see, the quarter flat is going to take this up the deep vertical of the field. The reason this is important, because let's say we got a concept that looks something like this. Well, now all of a sudden, now I've got a three rec who's got to carry this shallow crosser and he actually was delayed in his coverage. He should have came down on that a little bit faster than he did. So the three rec hook defender is really kind of responsible, if you will, for de really delivering, handling, and kind of just hanging underneath with those shallow crossers. So what we can do with our coverage to give us a plus couple of advantage, uh, a significant advantage in our coverage, and what I like to do against spread is I like to put my DT in a spy, and I like to, or uh, my, my backside or my weak side defensive tackle into a quarterback spy, my right side or strong side defensive tackle, the, the defensive tackle to the three or four receiver side in a bluff blitz assignment. You're going to see that that's going to put him into a three rack hook. And this now allows me to user my middle linebacker really in whatever avenue that I want to. Now, another thing against spread that you're going to get is we're going to talk about this, but this is palms. And basically what that's going to mean here is essentially um, if number two goes to the flat, then we're going to get what's basically called a trap. So for example, in quarters, um, the outside corner out here, if number one goes vertical, which number one would be Mike Evans, if number one goes vertical, then that quarter zone is going to take him vertical. However, because of so much RPO and stuff like that that exists, and, and really, I think, just kind of some general concepts that you're going to see, maybe a flat, a uh, like, for example, a Y cross type of thing, where you got a flat that's going to kind of... You, you've got a real isolation on a quarter flat, if you will, um, if we were in, in true quarters. So what you're going to see now is when number two breaks to the outside, if he breaks under 10 yards, um, then what's going to happen is that number one is going to, uh, the outside corner is going to trap onto number two, and we're going to get a switch 
where the safety is now going to take that number one vertical. Let me show you how this works. We see here we get that flat, we get that swap off, and look how good and look how baby that really is if you think about it. I think it plays pretty good coverage. Now, the way that this is really advantageous is if you actually think about the majority of the types of routes that people are going to want to run from spread two by two. You're going to get a lot of fades and you're going to get a lot of skinny posts. So because we're getting a lot of fades and skinny posts, now we have significant leverage with our safety to be able to cut the post off and take it to the inside. And as you can see, we're gonna get a lot of interceptions on people trying to force post routes down our throat. So that's one of my favorite ways to defend um, spread out of two by two. Now, another thing that we have that is very advantageous uh, to within this defense is the ability to play press alignment without really being worried that we're going to get burned over the top. Let me, let me explain what I'm talking about. Just like we just showed you, if I press, for example, on the right side here, and I try to do this because this is kind of a standard press type of coverage beater, especially if they're running cover two, what you're going to see now is, again, we're going to get that perfect little swap off. And as you can see, we're gonna take that guy and really be able to make a play on him. Now again, please, please, please. If the running back goes vertical, you might've seen on the last play, the running back had a step. Your job is to wall number three. So if, you, if you're over here, okay, and you get a concept that basically looks like this, if you will, out of palms, you've got to wall the number three until you get help. And if you don't get help, then you will continue to carry. You're gonna match, you're gonna carry, and if you cannot deliver that route to another defender, you're gonna carry it all the way up the field. So you're gonna see right here, same basic thing, we're carrying this, and we're gonna have to stay and carry that up the field. And as you can see though, the rest of the defense really locks down a lot of what spread is gonna wanna do. Now let's talk about a basic little flooding combination, essentially something that looks kind of like this. I want this is probably one of the better plays uh, in gun spread right now. Uh, and again, remember your job, cut wall number three. If number three goes to the flat, then you come back to the two receiver side and you're looking for shallow crossers. So we're walling number three, come back to this side. And now as you see here, we can make a pretty good defensive play on pretty much anything that they're gonna do, okay? Now the same thing is also true. Let's say we get some kind of like a, um, this is a very famous little match beater here. This is basically a kind of an air raid staple, uh, but basically we're gonna do a double curl concept, right? Um, now this is probably the best chance they have, in my opinion, at really getting over the top of us man to man, but if we've got good corners on the outside, we should be fine. So again, we're gonna wall off here. Oh, he goes to the flat, so now we're looking for that. And as you can see, pressure comes in before they can get the ball off. That post is the route though. So if you see something like this, where you open your hips to the three receiver side, this is really important. Because again, I think it helps to understand your user responsibility in this. So let's say your number three or your, your back goes to the flat. Okay, let's just say, so you open up, your back goes to the flat. Now you're turning back here. Oh, ah, I got a bail. Okay, and as you can see there, played just fine. Okay, so that's pretty much how you can really leverage palms. Um, the big thing I will say too, let's say for example that you receive a crossing route, so it looks something like this. Um, what I like to do with my, with my guy here is I'm going to primarily be responsible for a crosser uh, if it goes from right to left. Like if I get two crossers in the middle, I need to take the one from right to left. But if I only have one crosser, it's like here, I open up, now I'm coming back here, and then I can take that crosser, and as you see, we're, we're gonna be able to stop the majority of what they wanna do. Now, like I said, if I get double crossers, and I'll show you that real quick, if I get two crossers, something that looks like this, which is a route combo that people, if they find out or they really know that you're running match, this is probably something you're gonna get because this is what most people think beats it. Well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna wall off, come up, open up here, and then as you see, uh, we can pretty much, uh, in that regard, take, you know, you're really just kind of choosing a crosser. Typically, if you choose the slot, most of the time that tight end will get covered in two by two spread. But this is pretty much how I like to run this. Um, one thing you can do if you want to um, is you can do some, uh, I mean, like manning the running back up will help a lot. So like if you wanted to, you, instead of doing that, what you could do here is you could take Winovich and man him up on the running back. Now you've got a significant plus one advantage here. 
and what you'll see is now that quarter flat can kind of be able, feel free to do a lot of stuff uh, to help you in coverage. But anyways, guys, that's the basic Palms defense, how it works against 2x2 two two spread. One of my favorite defenses in the game. And if you want to learn more about this defense and how you can use it against any offense in Madden, I'm going to put a playlist in the uh, in the back end of the video that you can check out. But I also want to let you know to grab the whole ebook in the Patreon. There's a full match defensive ebook that's available once you sign up for that Patreon. So head on down to the description, join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. You're going to get access to everything. And I really believe it's going to help you become a better Madden player. So if you want to get better at the game, head on down to the description and join the Patreon.